one has to be very careful as a, as a designer what you're really asking for. You know, how these, do you want your, 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 your things really to become a part of a culture which actually results in going on way beyond its sell-by date? There was a, a moment for that sort of approach, and that moment's passed, thank God. What I can see that, that would, would be very helpful is if we start to look at reframing the ways we teach, we teach architecture. Um, I think historically the tools that we use to create architecture, particularly in drawings and models and things like that, lead us to think about the executions much more in, in sort of formalistic terms. And I think that, that um, you know, we're sort of advocates of thinking about, thinking about um, the challenge of architecture around what the experience is that people have with it. I would like to see the next phase of development in architecture to be more concerned with how to extend our history rather than to destroy and do something totally new. Because I think you know, the best architecture, the best planning is always from something to something. It's, it should not be from nothing. Um, you know, so we should not demolish. So that's what I have been seeing quite a lot of what's been happening in contemporary architecture. So I would like to see the extension of culture um, uh, in all the projects that, that we do. There, there needs to be some kind of attachment to the past, to the history or to the culture. The world of the intelligent, so-called intelligent material, I think is already, is already upon us. You know, glass that will change colour or materials that will, will respond to noise or vibration or changes in temperature. And I think people, as a result, expect to have more control um, over the personal circumstances, the, their personal environment. So one example would be, um, why do you have to have the same colour light in your shower or your bathroom? Why can't you adju adjust it? Or why can't you just program uh, the lighting depending on whether it's day or night? Well, the answer to that is actually more or less can do that now because the products have come through to make that possible.